Jadi kalau dia Tuhan vengeance, kenapa Tuhan vengeance tak boleh decide bila vengeance tu nak di nak dijalankan? Sepatutnya hmm. boleh lah, dia Tuhan kot, dia dewa kot. Apakah maksud confession Arthur Hero kepada Konshu? Going back to the point to the point that Arthur Hero used to be Konshu's avatar and then he made the conscious decision to leave Konshu the way he did which we do not know how but it directly resulted in Konshu finding Mark Spector and Arthur Hero going to Amit lah. Even though he was Konshu's avatar, Konshu never took control of Arthur Hero. And if Konshu, kita assume yang dah pernah ada avatars previously, we can we can at this point assume that he lost these avatars to natural causes. Avatar ni sudah mati dalam fight atau mati naturally. And then for a long time, he couldn't find a suitable avatar which during that period of time dia makin uh, makin firm up his belief makin shape his opinion of how the world is and what he needs to do and then dia makin particular nak mencari avatar yang seterusnya kerana dia avatar yang seterusnya mempunyai misi yang lebih besar and then dia jumpa Arthur Hero which he thought was the right avatar tetapi Arthur Hero mempunyai uh, pendirian dia yang sendiri mempunyai perjuangan dia yang sendiri and then Arthur Hero meninggalkan Konshu so at this point For Arthur Hero, Konshu was the stepping stone that led him to Amit. Okay? For Konshu, Arthur Hero was the final, was the most recent avatar that made him realize, I don't need an avatar. I need a vessel. So, sebab tu Konshu, I mean Mark Spector. Sebab Mark Spector, bini dia macam tu, Stephen Grant ada, Mark Spector ada. So Mark Stephen Grant knowledgeable in Egyptology, uh, Mark Spector is an uh, apa nama a, 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 a resourceful mercenary yang boleh lawan. So he felt that uh, Mark Spector is unscrupulous. So dia dia apa? Dia dia tak ada prinsip sangat. Dia boleh jadi vigilante, dia macam Punisher. So Mark Spector pula sebab dia ada DID, dia ada character flaws that Konshu can take advantage of. So Konshu pun pilih lah Mark Spector. Physically, memuas, uh, fulfill the criteria. Uh, mentally, Stephen Grant fulfill the criteria. Lepas tu, hmm. uh, lepas tu, uh, emotionally fulfill the criteria sebab dia lebih mudah untuk Konshu blackmail dia. Nak take advantage of him. Sebab Konshu memerlukan seorang vessel dan bukan avatar. Sebab apa? Konshu merasakan the moment kau ada avatar, avatar tu ada pendapat dia sendiri as Arthur Hero has shown. Kalau kau ada avatar, the avatar, uh, kalau kau ada avatar, the avatar kena switch you on. Tapi kalau kau ada vessel, you are you are walking amongst men. So the vengeance is immediate. Faham tak? So, Konshu mungkin merasakan yang this is the best way to become a god lah. A god of vengeance. Okay? So, which is the exact opposite of Amit and Arthur Hero. Konshu only does his work after the act has been done. We need to do it before. Perfect. So, it's a perfect clash already. So, bila dia ambil Mark Spector, cun lah which now leads to more, makes more sense that Konshu not take over Mark Spector punya body or wants to find a vessel who's, that he can take over. So, dia dah tak payah nak bergaduh dengan dengan dia punya avatar. Put on the suit, put on the suit, call me out. Tak payah gaduh dah. Sebab selagi dia ada avatar tu dan kita dah nampak benda dia dalam episode 2 dan 3, the person who decides for the suit to be on to exact the vengeance that is due It's not Konshu, it's the Avatar. Tapi siapakah Tuhan Vengeance? Konshu. Jadi kalau dia Tuhan Vengeance, kenapa Tuhan Vengeance tak boleh decide bila Vengeance tu nak di nak dijalankan? Sepatutnya mm-hmm. boleh lah, dia Tuhan kot, dia Dewa kot. Tapi kenapa yeah. Dewa masih lagi tak apa, di, is restricted by the the Avatar? Then uh, kau tak cukup Dewa yeah. lah. And then bila dia tengok Dewa-Dewa dia yang lain, ah uh, Dewa-Dewa yang lain macam alah korang bukannya nak jaga sengat. If he feels like he's the only god that is trying to punish humanity before humanity gets even worse and then nothing happens and this it makes even more sense because dia dah hidup beribu-ribu tahun dia dah nampak civilizations after civilizations people after people dying to their own stupidity to their own mistakes so if they are if vengeance was there they would have paid for their mistakes earlier and then they would have learned from their mistakes sooner and they will not have died as a civilization or as a people. So nampak semua ni benda ni jadi cantik. So it drives kedewaan 
dan ke ke sifat ketuhanan konsu ni lah. So that's why dia nak dia nak take over. So bila kau ambil dalam konteks ni, bila kau te, bila kau, kau sedar yang Arthur Hero ni punya pandai, yang dia sedar konsu punya karakter yang macam Wolverine ni is a very straightforward character yang fikir linearly macam ni dan Arthur pada Arthur Hero dia tak cukup inspiring dan stimulating for his own intellect di mana kita kena kuasai manusia, kita kena ada judgement when or whatever not dia tinggalkan Konshu dan dia jumpa Amit so bila dia kata dekat Konshu dan dia, he kept this as a secret from Konshu which he can sebab Konshu tak boleh control Avatar dia tak boleh tahu Avatar tu fikir apa Faham tak? Dia boleh bersimbang dengan Avatar tu but he doesn't know what Stephen Grant thinks He doesn't know what Mark Spector thinks He cannot control them specific, specifically At least until macam dia kat dalam di, dibicarakan tu So, bila Arthur Harrow sedar benda ni dan dia pergi ke Amit then bila dia setengah nak berjaya tu dia pun kongsi lah dia dalam excitement dia tu dia, dia cakap lah secret dia dekat Konshu I will tell you a secret I enjoy dealing pain on your behalf sebab dia appreciate Konshu nak balas dendam tu that part dia suka sebab hmm. dia rasa dia tengah buat something untuk membetulkan dan menghukum manusia but it is always too late because kesalahan tu telah dilakukan orang dah mati kan dah ada orang teraniaya yeah. so dia cakap lah I enjoy dealing pain in your behalf your torment forged me so the torment of only punishing people after they make their mistakes after they do their wrongs and then people losing lives and the world falling into worse falling into where so sekarang ni the torment of living like that and realizing that your vengeance and your punishment is never enough you can never stop man because after you you uh, exacted vengeance for this person then you realize ada orang tu pun ada vengeance orang ni pun ada vengeance orang ni punya vengeance 10 tahun orang ni punya vengeance 50 tahun orang tu punya vengeance Uh, tujuh generasi lah yang apa orang ni punya vengeance civilizations ago semua orang punya vengeance tak terbayar what the fuck is the god of vengeance doing you are slow apa so that's when dia kata i am tormented by this i want to mean more as somebody who is an avatar i want to make this world a better place kalau dia dah twisted kan so dia katalah your torment the torment of being an avatar that is too slow and whose vengeance cannot change the humanity for thousands of years forged me turn him to become somebody who is looking for and eventually found Amit so sekarang dia kata I owe my victory to you sebab dia rasa dia dah nak menang dia dah tipu eh niat dia dah nak jumpa Amit dia dah terjadi ni dia lansia dia lansia dia punya moment dia lansia so dia owe dia, lansia. Lansia. Dia, so, dia, oh, dia punya victory ni ha, dia owe dia punya victory ni Konshu lah sebab kalau dia tak jadi avatar Konshu dia tak sampai kat sini ha, so that is where the line comes from sebab tu aku suka ending ni because this is And this is the best part eh, Arthur Harrow punya karakter ni very measured and very methodical. So, bila hmm. dia buat statement tu, dia tak buat kosong tau. Meaning semua plan dia, uh, meticulously plan, uh, strategy, taktik, semua one by one berlaku. Everything falls into place one by one by one. Konshu behave like Konshu, Stephen Grant, Mark Spector, everything fell into his trap. <laughs> Jadi bila dia dekat moment That's tu, true. he can ah. felt, he can feel how sucks how close he is then ayat dia let me tell you a secret sebab dia dah pendam benda ni lama ha. kan I'll tell you in a secret I enjoy the limpid aku memang suka jadi kau punya avatar lu hukum orang sana sini sebab vengeance sebab dendam-dendam yang tak terbayar yang, yang perlu dilunaskan tetapi sebagai avatar kau buat kerja kau ni is very me- me- menyeksa aku sebab aku merasakan yang benda ni tak masih lagi tak mampu tak cukup untuk menyelamat dan mengubah dunia So sekarang ni aku dah nak berjaya disebabkan semua lesson-lesson ni and I owe all of this to you. So Konshu, terima kasih ha bro. Okay, terima oh, kasih ha. So that's how I feel bila aku tengok scene tu. So aku rasa macam yeah, fuck this is a this is a solid character sel. Dan it's Ethan Hawke. Yeah. Dia tak ada ha dia tak ada macam tu. Dia macam charismatic. Stereotype. Charismatic gila baby tak stereotype. Dia macam ah ini kali leader ah. Ini baru kali leader. Ini baru David Koresh kan always in control at all times. Fu gila we. Sekiranya anda enjoy menonton video ini, jangan lupa untuk like, share dan subscribe kepada Bas Pop TV. Untuk lebih banyak video-video yang berkaitan dengan pop culture daripada komik, TV, filem, mainan dan juga banyak lagi. Majulah fandom untuk negara.